<laughs> my hair's like soaked up all the dye. All of it is now in my hair. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing my hair. Oh, I look you like you were dead and possessed for a second. <laughs> like, because there's all blood everywhere. Like, it looks like blood. Oh my god, it scared me. She had her head in the thing, like, in a blood all over her hands. She was like, this, and I thought she was possessed. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of me dyeing my hair with food. Today's hair dye will be made from beets. Last time I did it, it was made from turmeric and that worked out really well. So I thought I'd try another one out for you guys. Test it out and see how it goes. So fingers crossed today that the beet dye actually works. I'm hoping it works my brown hair. Here, here, my brown hair. I know at the bottoms it will when it's not wet, it's usually lighter. So I'm sure it will come out more there. But I'm hoping to do it all the way through, not just at the bottoms this time. So fingers crossed it works today. We'll all soon find out. I'm just going to fix that camera because I'm like... <laughs> oh, that's better. So what you want to do is before you actually put the beet dye in your hair is you want to wash it. So that's why my hair is actually wet this morning. So you need to just like wash it with shampoo, not conditioner though, because what you're trying to do is strip your hair of the oils. So essentially dry it out so that there's no um, impurities and other things like that on your hair. So you want it to be wet and damp, not too wet though that it's still dripping. So if it is dripping and you're about to pl apply the beet dye onto it, you'll need to dry it a bit more because you just want it to be lightly damp so that the follicles are still open and then they'll take in the beet juice a little bit better anyway. So that's why my hair is actually wet this morning. So all you do is just wash it with shampoo, not conditioner because you want to put oils back on your hair. You want the <laughs> beet juice dye to actually stick on and not wash off because it's just not sticking because the oils are there. So I'll be using some beets in a can today. Usually they call for the, just the raw beets as they are because then you're going to boil them in a saucepan after you've blended them up in your food processor but I just got the beets in the tin today that's all I had so I'm going to be using that today so I'm just going to be pouring this into my blender they said you can either put it into like a high powered blender a juicer or a food processor so I'm just going to do that now just to kind of mush it up a bit and then I'm going to pop it into my saucepan after we're done <laughs> try not to spill that or oh, either does it Pour a few in there. Whoop. Line the splash. That'll do. I'll keep the rest for later. And put the lid on and blend away. So now I've got my blended up beetroot sort of smoothie thing here. I'm going to pop it into my saucepan with three tablespoons or so of some coconut oil. That's like the carrier oil for this and it's going to help stick it to your hair as well and keep the colour in for a little bit longer. So we're going to pour that in and then we're going to heat it up for five to ten minutes just to make sure that it's all combined and you're going to stir it and you're going to heat it on low so don't put it on too high on the stove top. Just heat it on low with the coconut oil for five to ten minutes Stirring on the odd occasion. Oh, perfect. And just leave it covered when you're not stirring it. Alrighty, so now that the mixture is all done, it's like heated up a bit so it helps to extract more of the juice from the beetroot. So I'm going to now strain it in my giant bowl here, just with a normal mesh strainer. They say you can also use a cheesecloth on top of that, but I find that just using a mesh strainer just because mine aren't as chunky as some of the raw ones is fine for me. Alrighty, so the dye is ready to go now. So I'm basically just going to apply it onto different sections of my hair. So again, before you do this, you want to make sure that your hair is damp, but again, not dripping. So mine is just on the verge. If it is like that, just get a towel and pull the water down and out of your hair because you only want it to be slightly damp, not dripping wet. So 
I'm going to do that now and then basically you've got to leave your, the dye in your hair for two to three hours so it is a long process so I'm going to clip my hair up onto my head afterwards and then put a shower cup on over that and then I can just go about my daily routine and do whatever I want to rather than just sit here and try and avoid any dye from dripping onto everything and also Another thing to note, wear something that's dark because you don't want your clothes to be stained from the beetroot and you don't want that to get onto your clothes because it's, it's really challenging to remove. So make sure you wear black, like me, or something really dark so that if you do drop it onto your body or on your skin, it doesn't show up in any way. Now, you can opt to wear plastic gloves just to stop the dye from staining your hands, but again, I don't really want to do that because it's a bit wasteful for me. I don't like using disposable gloves and things like that. And I don't mind my hands going a little bit purple from the dye. So that's my preference. But if you do want to, you can do that. I'm so excited to try this out. I might just mix this through a little bit more because the oil is sort of sitting on top. And I want that to be in there. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's go, girls. Alright, first section. Now, I'm going to try and get as much of it in there as I can. Should really tie it back with a hairband. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Lovely and purple. Oh, there's so much hair. Mm. My hair's like soaked up all the dye. All of it is now in my hair. Oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm tying my hair. Oh. You look like you're dead and possessed for a second. <laughs> like, because there's all blood everywhere. Like, it looks like blood. Oh my gosh. It's scary. She had her head in the thing, like, in a blood all over her hand. And she was like, this, and I thought she was possessed. <laughs> I was so confused. Like, why would I walk in there if she had her head in the bowl? Alrighty, so there we have it. So, I'm going to leave it in my hair for around two to three hours. And then I'm going to wash it and condition it after that. And then I'll show you guys how it turns out. Fingers crossed it turns out okay. My hands are still purple and I've washed them quite a few times. So it shows that it stains pretty well. So that's a good sign. So I'll see you guys in two to three hours time. So my hair actually turned out pretty well, as you can see it kind of went a slight purple tinge, it's more noticeable in the sun, I don't know if you can see but when it's in the sun you can sort of see that light purple tinge a little bit better, it was very very faint so it's not as strong as you would get when you dye your hair with normal sort of chemical dyes, that's really strong and some other food products can come out a bit stronger so I'm going to look in future for some other purpley food colour colouring products that I can put into my hair is much stronger like turmeric was much stronger so you could see the difference a lot more didn't have to be just in the sun but in some parts of my hair you can sort of see the purple tinge it's more towards the bottom sort of see it there very light purple tinge to it it's very very faint so it's not as noticeable it's more noticeable in the sun it's a very natural I would say natural purple tinge to it so it actually came out really well at towards the end I was like it's not gonna work this is all gone terribly wrong I haven't done it right and then when it dried I was like oh you can sort of see a bit of a purple tinge to it. So, success in the end. I was so happy that it had any purple in the end. I was a bit worried. It was just going to be like, nah, all gone. Just washed out. I didn't do it right. I was like, oh no, I was panicking. So I was like, oh my goodness. But thankfully, it actually, it did. It worked out. I'm so grateful for that. And I'm so excited to show off my new purple hair when it's sunny. And <laughs> I can just stand in the sunlight and be like, guys, look at my hair. It's purple now. <laughs> But yeah, success in the end. So that turned out really well. So if you guys want to give it a try, let me know how it goes for you. I'd love to hear it. Maybe you have a lighter colour hair, it will stand out more, especially if you're blonde. It will tend to stand out more in blonde hair. But thankfully you can sort of see a little bit in brown hair. So if you are brunette like me, it may work for you as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to join our tribe, our awesome squad here on YouTube, feel free to subscribe down below in the corner. Just there. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys in my future videos. If you do want to see that turmeric hair dye video, I will link it beside me for you guys to check out. Otherwise, I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!